My name is Vulcan and with me is Artek. Your shoutcasters entering the quarterfinals of our match one. Now, moving on to game two. For those who are just tuning in, note that Bren Esports with a very ridiculous draft. I mean, the composition was great. They yep. have secured our first game. So, for uh, WLG, can they bounce back here, Artek? Man, it's so tricky because the way Bren Esports played out that game one was just so fluid, living up to their win conditions. Not just living up to their win conditions, but shutting down uh, we love gaming from realizing their own win conditions because like I mentioned they want to have a better transition just so that when they do hit the bigger team fights they could at least go uh, into a better head-to-head -head. and we did see that they had that potential in the last clash it's just that they were just so behind like whoever was frontlining whoever was to keep the members of Brent Esports as they weren't as tanky enough to deal with all so that Arthur. damage it was, so it was Arthur I mean he got melted in the base so I guess to the challengers who are watching right now, note that we have something very special in store for you. It's not just that we're giving shine to our local talents, but to you guys who are supporting our broadcast. Note that we'll be flashing codes of the level 3 Arcana chest. And at the end of every match, we'll be showing you codes for our heroes and skins. Yeah, and Five actually, five. five. Yeah. Man, I wish we could get those, but of course it is for you challengers. I mean, you can pull right out there. your smartphone on stream and just yeah. type it, but you can't do that, Arte. Yeah, um, we're, we're of course going to give it to the our challengers, challengers right there because, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, especially for those that are new to AOV, if ever they're fortunate enough to get some of those um, hero codes and at least gives them a little bit more heroes to work with. Mm -hmm. I would actually love those because I'm actually one of those new players who just recently ah. uh, played AOV. I could say I really enjoy the game and I can s definitely say I am a beginner because <laughs> I still have yet to understand the fluidity of the game, how it works, but looking at this broadcast, I can learn a lot. We saw how Bren Esports, with the rotations, having a great early pressure, securing the game flawlessly. It's like they were playing WLG the back of their hands. Yeah, pretty much. And I think, again, as far as expectations go, high expectations, like I mentioned, they definitely lived up to that. But let's go ahead and see if they could continue to do just that. Or will uh, We Love Gaming actually make a comeback to equal the ground one -way? Oh, looks like Bren, this time they will be on the blue side, as for WLG, we'll be playing on the red side. This is our second game of our match one, challengers. Let's get straight to it. Understandable fans coming out here, Zephyrus and the Chalknar. Chalknar, one of those tanky supports, one of the tankiest heroes you can spot out in the Arena of Valor at this point. I mean, the passive is just ridiculous, but let's see, what can Bren esports? Oh, oh. would be the Malak? No, it would be the Zenyo. We saw this in game one. They prioritized the Zenyo. Yeah, but looks like it is going to be in the hands of Brent Esports this time around. I'm really interested in seeing what they'll be drafting to complement this. Are they going to be going some for something a little bit more similar to what WLG drafted as far as concept goes? Or will they be going a completely different route here? And I think for this... Uh, this game too, we're seeing a pie in a hover. We have yet to see a solid yet. I think my questions have been answered. It'll be Astrid and Pina. No, a hover back up. Zuka and the Joker. What will it be? Wow, ah, Joker. So Can Bren Esports execute this Joker that WG WLG couldn't? Well, you know what, Vulcan, so far I'm liking what has been drafted so far. Um, particularly, we do see a difference in the form of the Astrid. Astrid is one of those heroes where in the longer the fight goes, the lesser the health, the more damage she dishes out, the more she thrives. So that's something that we love gaming he has to be very, very careful of. Wow. Oh, there. Murad, one of the ch heroes that you can expect from Bren Esports to really complement the Zenyal and the engage. But at this point, they have a lot of frontline to provide cover for the Joker. But looking at WLG, a Malak and a Jenna. I love those heroes because they're all about all in and yep. high risk, high reward scenarios. And looking at what We Love Gaming and has, it's very all lot. in right now. We're I mean, seeing a lot here, aren't they? They want to go for the brawl, basically. Everybody, in order for them to at least um, be of efficiency during fights, they really have to be all in. Everybody has to be in these fights. There's nobody that keeps a distance. Distancia amigo, kumbaga. So that's going to be tricky though because for Brent Eastward, they have a Mirad. Mirad thrives in situations where in the enemy is clumped together, able to maximize all that damage in the world. So I'm wondering how we love gaming is going to fare in this game. Very well rounded for Brent Esports, but man, I'm 
once again, I'm going to have to favor the blue side here. Because of the fact that we're seeing, I mean, just because they picked up the Senyal, that's not enough. They also want the Pina, one of the tanky supports who can heal you, I could say. But for uh, WLG, having the Arthur and the Butterfly, I would say for Butterfly, one of the heroes that I really love to see with the ridiculous pass, I mean, the cooldown, refresh, helps them really weave it out of the fight, really cleaning up the field. But I think it's be better better to see everything in action, Arctic. Yeah, I'm wondering, I'm really itching to see how We Love Gaming is going to be playing around this composition. Like, are they going to be trying to go for early shutdowns like on Joker? Because, like I mentioned, they could just really go full collapse with this composition. And I think it's a scenario where in... They have to go big or go home once they do go in because as far as making it out, not really that much potential there. I mean, welcome our challengers to the battlefield. This is our second game of our match one. Let's see, can WLG try and take away one point to force us in the game three or will Brent Esports make it a 2-0? Man, meanwhile, let's go ahead and check out what complements Brent Esports here. So, like I mentioned, they have quite a bit of damage there in the form of the Murad, in the form of the Joker. Oh, Astrid. Uh, oh, no. Going on to yourself alone. He pulls it back. Mira will not let Astrid escape. Low on hell. There's the heal. But the first spot goes to Butterfly. Gets the refresh. And that's not enough for them. They also want Murad. Already, two members get slaughtered. Probably not the best way to start off there for Brent Esports. And a like it back, I mean, a revenge from our first game. The numbers advantage was there for oh. WLG. Ooh, Peace Boy. Ah, he wants to contest the goal, but it went to Butterfly. They pull him back in, and that would be a kill. But under tower, that would might be, yes, it would be a trade off. Man, looks like Brent Esports, they're continuing to chase down. Will they manage to get anything out of this though? Yes. Good. Oh. Yes, be careful. Oh, Joker, you stepped too close to trying to get away. But that would be Murad again, weaving in and out of the fight. Man, so that was very messy start, I got I say. mean, a very aggressive start. Looks like WLG, they didn't like what Brent Esports did in their game one. Yeah, and I think Brent Esports played the price. WLG, they were kind of grouped up there amidst Brent Esports. They were a little bit more separated, a bit of an unfortunate face chick there coming in from anti-hero but then again it is some it's just small of a build-up i'm wondering still how we love gaming will manage to build up from this mm -hmm. and now we're seeing brand esports trying to establish control in their own jungle but looks like seeing how the kills are now one to three all majority of the kills the goal we can see a lot of participation from the teams but looks like arthur will you die no that would be astra just backing Oh, yeah. And you also have to take, like I mentioned, um, Astrid, especially once uh, she does reach her. Careful Ooh. with the Malak, followed by the Jinnah orbs. That's going to be a die. Butterfly getting the kill. Gets the reset under the tower. Looks like WLG will get the revenge. But Zaynal is here to help his allies. That will be a revenge kill for Brent Esports. And now we're seeing Mura trying to back off under his tower. They overcommitted. Giving that double kill to Senyal, and now looks like Jinnah, he's trying to come, trying to come back to this fight. Can he do something here? That's the question, but looks like he'll have some help from Buck. They will just back off from their blue side. Not bad right there, but then again, like I mentioned, that was a great demonstration of what WLG is capable of with the composition that they have. They could just go straight in for these dives, go for the squishier members of Brent Esports and Leather Goods. Like I said, very classic example right there of what heroes WLG can take. And especially, like I mentioned, this is the Joker. So he is a little, he's very squishy, not to mention a little bit more delicate. Ooh, what is this? Oh, looks like he's not going down without a fight. This is a duel. Oh, he gets the heal. But right now we're seeing Murad going in. One more dash. There it is. And under tower, he cannot, he cannot get the kill. But it's still... A nice attempt, a close yeah. call for Arthur. And that 1v1 right there that we saw between Antihero as well as Wasabi, that was a good demonstration as well of um, how Astrid thrives in the long run of fights when she does hit a lower spectrum of health. Oh, but, but oh no, they also love the WLG. They also love low health fights. They have that butterfly to get the resets, but looks like, oh god, Buck kind of extended there. He has to rejoin his team. Now we see three make members of WLG. On the side, oh, are they trying to contest this Abyssal Dragon? No, they're just distracting it. They won't go for it. Now going towards the 
mid lane. Yeah, Bright Esports, they're going to be disengaging right there. Very risky if they did go for that Abyssal Dragon. Very tight space right there. And like I mentioned, yeah. WLG, once they club up, once they engage, it's going to be so tricky for Brent Esports. That's kind of what Brent Esports wants to avoid here. They don't really want to get too clumped up because that will just make it so much more easier. But same goes for WLG because of the Mirad. So kind of goes both ways here as far as positioning. You got to be careful of bug over the wall hooks. Oh, what's this? That's going to be the fight started by WLG. They don't want Brent to go out without any casualties. Looks like another battle in the favor of WLG. Yeah, and this is just looking oh, very good for WLG. Who has the bigger sword here in the bot lane? <laughs> so we always see this Astrid and Arthur duking it out. But as you said, Arthur, the lower the health, the more favors Astrid. Looks like Murda trying to defend the tower. Oh, calls it helps. Jenna's here for the assist with the heal. And now pushing back Buck. He's low on health, trying to go back to his tower. He has no more mana. Will be taken down. Arcadia really performing. Uh, well on the senior so far, but everyone else still looking to try to get back online. But then again, it is a small build-up right here. I will, what I will give Brent Esports amidst all the casualties uh, and unfortunate Ooh, incidents so Jenna far. Jenna with the Nirvana. Look at the damage being dealt by this Jenna. Immediately forces out this Joker out of the fight. But looks like we're seeing oh WLG trying to go for this Abyssal Dragon and. To our challengers who are following our broadcast here, here is the code for the level 3 Arcana chest. Yeah, look at um, Ichiro though, managing to solo that Abyssal Dragon, but nonetheless, we do see a group up here coming in from Ben Esports to potentially shove up this top side. And still, another battle of the tanks, basically. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun fight to see, but I think top is more entertaining. Looks like Malak. Will be leading the charge. Mora trying to escape. Look at that outplay. But that's not going to happen when you see a butterfly. Yes, exactly. Itcher just styles his oh, way. And they're already going to go for an early Dark Slayer. That's Is that Mora? This will be a favorable fight for WLG. But it's too risky. Too early. Too especially. early. I mean, six minutes into the game, we saw that... I mean, they're able to efficiently take down targets from Red Esports. Not necessarily take down objectives as fast. <laughs> oh, we did see, sure, the Butterfly uh, doing a solo Abyssal, but Dark Slayer, they can potentially take it down. It's just that they're going to exhaust a lot of their health in that process, if I'm not mistaken. And now Arthur, he knows that he can't deal with his Astrid alone. Goes in hell, but in the end, it will be a 2v1 still. That's going to be Astrid. Oh, he went for the... And oh. No, looks like... Close call for the Astrid with the escape, but in the end, it will be a one for one in the bot lane. Yeah, I think that was the most of what Antier could have made up in that fight, since it did go 2v1. At least take down Ooh. a target before you go down yourself. But Ooh. Brock really luring, luring in the targets here for his team, but in the end, starting a fight, they cannot finish. Morat with a sweep right there, and calls in Zenyel with a heal. Will help them sustain this fight. Going in for an extended team fight, looks like Bren Esports will Try and challenge his smart fly. Oh, but the smart fly can potentially clean up the fight. That's going to be a very close call for Butterfly. And look at that. We're seeing Malak going into the fight immediately. He will take down Malak. Man, oh man, WLG, the stars are aligning for them. Ichiro is absolutely fed on this butterfly right now, which is why Brent Esports is, exactly, which is why Brent Esports is having such a hard time dealing with this assassin right here. So even though we might see full time be fights just because of how heavy a lead Ichiro has in this game could easily just decimate a lot of the squishy targets here from Red Esports and there's a lot that they could take down I mean, in all the ultimate the backstab from this butterfly can give enough defensive stats but once it's over the wall to the mic call it but no it'll be Morad shutting that butterfly down so far Astrid going on to two members make that three that will be them collapsing onto the bunch and that will be Zenyel going in with a leap but he will not be taken down just yet tower right there Murad going out to Arthur he survives but look at that getting picked up there Jenna still trying his best to fight back to the members of Brent Esports they'll be forced to back up Murad really just does not want to deal with Brent Esports right now but in the end Zenyel with that CC will help him survive for now but in the end still WL G will take that Pina. Yes, and we are slowly seeing a build up as far as gold goes for WLG, but oh, Leather Goods, that's not a good position, my friend. Gotta run, Joker. He has the speed boost from his kit, so I guess we're seeing. Oh, what's this? We're out again. Massive footwork there, but just to scare the members of WLG away from their blue side. Yeah, just a few scratches here on there onto WLG, but then again. 
I'd love to see WLG just go full throttle in this game because the more time um, that they allow this game to go, the more that Leather Goods is going to start to build up, be all the oh. more painful on this Joker. But then again, because of the lead that they have in all That's fairness, great. it's just going to be... It's a pretty good build up that they have so far. So it's, it is still going to take a little bit more for Ren Esports to reach that part of the later game, but it's nearing, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got the Abyssal Dragon art. Like, isn't that great for WALG trying to secure their own game too here, but I don't think Ren Esports will go down without a fight. It looks like Astrid again. I mean, the fight goes on and on, but WLG cannot just take the heat from this Astrid. And Colson Mura with the mana coming in with the fight. But Colson Sandy the heel will help them turn around this fight. Maybe, maybe not, but Brent Esports will take that chance. Look at the Docker forming, coming from the Zen of two men right there in the river. We're seeing he's left behind. He's not gonna escape. Malak will have to say his prayers. Yes, there you go. Good collapse from Brent Esports to get back into this game. And just like that, the gold equals once again. So that's something that WLG have to be wary about. If they can't just go full on in the earlier parts, then if if the fight kind of prolongs. It just allows a lot more space for Brent Eastward to exert damage if they're not able to get key targets right away. Oh, look at that. I just love Morad really going in for the flanks here, getting them off guard. And Joker, you would notice that the Joker would be the one to get the kill, but no, he's setting up for his team. You see it in his KD. A lot of assists, I could say, on this Joker. Man, this is going to be a good build up here. For leather goods. Let's go and see how this pans out. We are seeing Kuroki as well as Arcadia making their way to the Trying to lure them on the tower side. This is a wise choice for them. Going to the Morad has the mobility. They take down the tower. Looks like Arthur has no more protection, but his teammates may help them. Looks like Xenia will escape with a heal right there. And looks like Murad trying to back off here. Butterfly is there. There's the knock up from the Xenia helping Murad escape. Now it will be. Ooh, them trying to. Distract. Looks like Morat will survive. Zayna going able to leave. Looks like the members of Brent Esports will force another fight. The Joker is there to deal the damage. Takes down the Gina, but looks like Malak will come in to fight. Morat trying to heal himself off here. Going in for the kill. Looks for the ultimate there, and he goes in and out of the fight. And Malak with the knock up now. It will not connect, but the Joker goes in to the butterfly. He survived by now with there with a heal. And this will be the members of WLG backing up. But Malak, he's not backing up. He wants the kill. He wants to kill. But he's not going to do it because Morat is just too slippery, but Malak is not going down without a fight. He's kind of low, but so is the members of Brent Esports. Can he take down one member? <laughs> he got healed. There was the heal, but again, with the onslaught on this Morad. That's what I'm talking about right there. As the, if WLG isn't able to clean up right away, the longer the fights go, the more Brent Esports is potentially able to win those fights, not just because as far of damage, but because of the utility that they have in their kits with this composition. Oh, yeah. Did you see the damage on the, the turret? But right now, it looks like Ren Esports, they're pushing back WLG to their bot lane tower. That would be Arthur again. We're seeing the same Arthur. Not enough tankiness in this game, too. The members of Ren Esports are just dealing so much damage. The passive into Arthur is just not enough. Man, this is just slowly starting to build up for Ren right now. They're really starting to come back online. If anything, they have the gold lead now. Yeah, they have control. Yes. And I think this is where WLG is really going to start to struggle here. Even though they had an er they had a great start in the earlier phases, they weren't able to shove out right away. They weren't able to transition what kills that they got into objectives. And that's really hurting them in the long run because of how later into the game we managed to get just when Leather Goods is really just going to pop off into infinity, complemented with the rest of the members from Brent Esports that bring the utility to keep survivability up to these key targets. It's really popping up all the members, Arctic. And now, Following this abyssal dragon, Pina, oh, close call. They're going on to the sport. Four members, three members trying to collapse onto this final, but he has the passive, has the heal. And Joker gets reeled in back in. Arthur with the ultimate trying to get there. But Jinnah really zoning out this Joker. But the Malak will incredibly again. Pig's boy versus his Malak and splitting up the members of his teammates. Now Brand Esports, now only two members fighting against three. They see Jinnah, they want to take him down. Astrid finally takes down the Jinnah. And now this will be the turnaround for Brand Esports again. This will be WLG scrambled around the map and Zinnah with a CC again with a leap. And he 
will be cleaning up the fight here in the mid lane. This is it. Brent Esports with the composition they have. They are the kings of this late game right here. We saw the effort coming in from WLG. They tried to chase down both. I think that was Peace Boy as well as... Uh, Leonard Goods, if I'm not mistaken, that they were chasing down. Yeah. But they were, they were being zoned down yeah. in the mid lane. But and that was just the utility that they have. It, with the senior heal, with what all across the board, what Peace Boy brings with the Pena, it Incredible allows the members pain. of Red Esports to just last long enough. And that's where WLG struggles oh. now. They're not able to pick off, take down targets right away. This is heartbreaking too for a WLG because this is the quarterfinals Arctic. And if they lose this game, they will be out so far this May. Just be their last stand, and Brand Esports, this could be their moment to win our first match. Looks like already we're seeing the members of WLG trying their best with a mallet, with a knockoff right there, zoning out the members, the very low health members, but they're not respecting the Sanyo. Oh man, that is so Another insane. ace. And that's just the build up right there. That's the power of the late game. You're expect coming in from Brent Esports. So I think it's pretty much a good done deal. They're just waiting for these waves to come in. Still very heavy death timers coming in. It's only going to be the Jinn that will come up in just a bit, but I don't think that will be in time to actually go for the defense. Oh my goodness. With Ace right here and the core is exposed. Looks like the members of Brent Esports, they won't wait any longer, Arctic. Nope. They want to move on. Yes, and of course there you have it. Taking it a clean 2-0. That will be Brent Esports late gaming their way to the next round. Well played. Well played indeed by both teams here. WLG even making this far to the quarterfinals. Congratulations there. But even for Brent Esports, I have to hand it to them. What a clean, day, clean game that was making it a 2-0. Yeah, and I, I'm absolutely mind blown right now for Brent Esports because... Um, we gave a little bit of a background about them earlier, but man, let's just talk about that game real quick because like I mentioned, there was such amazing collapse coming in from We Love Gaming here. We saw that in the earlier phases of the game where they were able to dominate and pick off whatever member of Brent Esports they spot out on the Antares battlefield. It's just that, like I mentioned, they weren't able to transition that to many objectives, get that decent shoving. If ever, at least they were able to penetrate at least one of the tier three turrets from Brent Esports, that would have been workable. But the fact that it didn't go that far it just allowed Brent Esports to scale a little bit more safer into the late game. And the late game was just catastrophic for, uh, I would say, WLG because Brent Esports, it was in a way a tug of war fight. But in the end, challengers, I think we saw the victor in our first match. And yeah. like I said before, note that after every match, we will be giving away so much to our community, to the challengers who are mm. supporting our broadcast. So stay tuned for that. On standby, you will see codes of heroes and skins. But till then, we'll go to a short break, challengers. See you after that. My name is Vulcan. With me was Arctic. You, we were your shoutcasters for the match one. Now, moving on to match two.
in the out. Go to the ultimate to get two members of Red Esports. But they're split up in the blue side. That's going to be Malik going in. And we're the two man knock up right there. That's low call for WLG. Low on health. But look at Brain Esports. They're getting melted by the members of WLG. But the numbers have deteriorated. That's going to be dive by Luma with a red style. Two man knock up there. And another dive by Stephens with his ultimate. will back off. Joker can't do anything. The tower will not kill him. That was a close call, bro. Yes, it's such a good game. Yeah. Look at the damage. Arthur, he's not tanky at all. That would be an easy jump down. Looks like the members of Brand will be invading the base of WLG without any members down for the count. That will be a slaughter in the base. Man, oh man, ladies and gents, I think we have a clear winner here for our game one as Brand Esports is going to take it well played. Man, great play indeed, Broken. I gotta say for Brand. Just by looking at Starting the fight, they cannot finish. Morat with a sweep right there and calls in. Zaniel with a heal will help them sustain this fight. Going in for the extended deep fight. Looks like Red Esports will try and challenge his smart fly. Oh, but the smart fly can potentially clean up the fight. That's going to be a very close call for Butterfly. And look at that. We're seeing Malak going into the fight. Zaniel, the heal will help them turn around this fight. Maybe, maybe not, but Brent Esports will take that chance. Look at the doctor coming, coming from the Zen, the two men right there in the river. We're seeing he's left behind. He's not gonna escape. Malak will have to say his prayers. Yes, there you go. Good and the going the lead. Looks like the members of Brent Esports will force another fight. The Joker is there to deal the damage. Takes down the Gina, but looks like Malak will come in to fight Morat. Trying to heal himself up here, going in for the kill. Looks for the ultimate there, and he goes in and out of the fight. And Malak with the knockout down. It will not come back, but the Joker goes in to the butterfly. He survives by now with there with the heal. And this will be the members of the LG backing away. But Malak, he's not backing off. He wants the kill. He wants to kill. But he's not going to do it because Mora is just too slippery. But Malak is not going down with a fight. He's kind of low, but so is the members of Brent Esports. Can he take down one member? <laughs> he got healed. There was the heal, but again, with the onslaught on this Mora. That first call. They're going on to the sport. Four members, three members trying to collapse on this final, but he has the passive, has the heal. And Joker gets wheeled in back in. Arthur with the ultimate trying to get there. But Jinnah really zoning out this Joker. But the Malak will incredibly again. Pig's boy versus this Malak and splitting up the members of his teammates. Now Brand Esports, not only two members fighting against three. They see Jinnah. They want to take him down. Astrid finally takes down to Jinnah. And now this will be the turnaround for Brand Esports again. This will be WLG scrambled around the map. And Jinnah with a CC again with a leap. And he will be cleaning up the fight here in the mid lane. Esports, this, this is could be their moment to win our first match. Looks like already we're seeing the members of WLG trying their best with the Malik with a knockoff right there. Zoning out the members, the very low health members, but they're not respecting the Sanyo. Oh man, that is so Another in this ace. They won't win any longer, I think. No. They want to move on. Yes, and of course there you have it. Taking it a clean 2-0, that will be Brent Esports late game their way to the next round.